is the fact that people are very, I think that people, uh, in, a, in a way I feel like sometimes people don't have feelings anymore. I think we watch too many things online, on TV that are too, numb to too brutal, it. Yeah. and it, we become numb to feelings now. So I feel like people forget that we're human beings. I mean, I think that any Hispanic here in Cleveland or any minority here in Cleveland or in the United States at some point is going to experience a, a sort or a kind of discrimination. As subtle as it is, but you will see it. There's racist people everywhere. There is. You know, you can't, that's just freedom of speech. It's freedom, freedom of belief. You know, you believe whatever you want to believe. So you're going to encounter people like that, but I was never actually discriminated on. And I feel like I was very lucky because I live in a city where <laughs> it's filled with Puerto Ricans. <laughs> and sometimes you kind of, you know, blend in with them. And you got to remember Puerto Ricans are, are American citizens. So Oh, you Puerto Rico is a U.S. Yes. state. Oh, so yeah. a lot of times you blend in with them. And so people leave you alone. People don't say anything. And I think that it's because there's such a big Puerto Rican community that maybe the Latinos here in Cleveland aren't discriminated as much. But I can tell you, I've gone to, you know, sister cities here. You know, so sometimes I go to surrounding suburbs here and uh, my color, bye, my color, you know, stands out. From the minute you walk into the door of the, of the store, your color stands out and people stare at you. And I know that every minority gets that. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't suffer as much discrimination. I didn't suffer as much, you know, um, people telling, people asking me all the time, are you illegal, are you not? And the fact that we never spoke about it, like I told you before, we never spoke about it. If we did, you were basic, you had to tell it to somebody you really, really trusted and you knew who wasn't gonna say anything. So a lot of us kept that in a vault. We never shared it with anyone. So, um, when I started to see a lot more discrimination towards people was when Trump started going into the campaign. Racism existed before Trump. People were too cowardly to come out and say it straight up to people's faces. Because what happened was, I would be sitting in a room with other people and a person of color came in. Hey, how are you? Hey, yeah, what's up? Yeah, like nothing. Person would walk out and straight to my face say something racist about that person. And I would be like, if you say that about them, what do you say about me? What would they say? I would, I would love to know. Because oh, they, no. I would never hear. No, I would, it was just the, the typical stereotypes. Like, must not work. Must be on welfare. And... Sadly, like, we get that too. Hispanics get that too. People think that Hispanics here in Cleveland live off of the welfare, that they get live off of, off of food stamps, and there's nothing wrong with that. When you need it, you need it. You know what I'm saying? You need to get whatever help you can to be able to work and save up money to be a better person, you know, to or to give your children a better future, you know? But um, sadly, some people have some really bad misconceptions about minorities. And, you know, it's just stereotypes. And I think that since Trump, things just came out. And I, I remember reading online about people who were driving by and some idiot tried to cut them off and started saying racial slurs to them. In all types of colors, I'm telling you, I heard this from different people. And so we have a problem. You know, stop but you, it, with, with Trump being in, you haven't experienced anything or besides looks, there hasn't been anything. Yeah, okay. but I think it's because when I talk to people, I, I, first of all, I don't socialize too much, first of all, and I think that's a good thing. But secondly, when I speak to someone, I think that I come off as a very nice person. <laughs> And people are sort of embarrassed to say that to my face. But I've heard people say things behind my back. Or somebody else told me, oh, they're saying this about Mexicans and this and that. There is the big misconception that only Mexicans are illegal. But it's not. It's everyone. But because somebody, there was always that stereotype and a man got on a podium and said something really bad about us. Now we're it. So, so you're taking a brute for the majority of immigrants, basically. There's, yeah, there's there's immigrants of different races and colors here in the United States, and a lot of them are dreamers. 